uh, one of my uh, co-workers female co-worker she loves to lift weights and um she's uh, a good lifter a hardcore lifter she's actually on like a three-day split similar to mine so we have this common interest and i don't have many people to talk to about this so when we do discuss weightlifting, it's it's uh, my eyes are kind of perked up so anyway she asked me hey you know i'm losing a few pounds i'm cutting a little bit but i'm losing strength and i'm worried what can i do about it now um, I may have spoken about this very briefly in other videos, but I wanted to designate a specific video for this reason since uh, this topic just came up. So when you're losing weight, um, for the most part, unless you're on anab anabolic steroids and as you as your body fat gets lower and you just and you start to lose weight, you're gonna naturally lose strength outside of anabolic steroids, like I said for the most part. And the reason is, when you have less, when you when you basically weigh less, you have uh, less body mass. You can't push as much weight, um, and that's and you're gonna notice that in particular. Like with her, she was worried about. She said that she used to lift um, sumo deadlift 225, and now she was you know doing 205. Um, her squat, which is another compound movement, it's very taxing on the body. It's great for your body. It's a compound movement, hence it works multiple parts of your body, but it can it can really get taxing on your body, like I said, and we don't have as many calories because when you're cutting, you're in a caloric deficit. That's basically what it means. So you're bound to lose some um, power. So she said that I think uh, she was she was squatting 180, and then now she could do like 170. And I told her 10 pounds is not that much when. Um, when I was cutting, or when I do a cut, I, I can lose up to like 40, 50 pounds on a certain lift, especially the compound movement. So it's nothing to be alarmed about, but if you're um, all about numbers and you're, I wouldn't say she's obsessive, but if you're kind of concerned about losing power, then you're gonna have to compromise because um, it's just not gonna happen. It's bound to happen. So this is just a warning not to be alarmed. This, this is not going to, make you lose any muscle gains. That's why when before cutting, if you do it properly, your job is to, I wouldn't say get fat, but you can eat a little bit more in a surplus, a slight surplus, and then uh, lift hard, um, maximize your lifts so you can pack on as much muscle as possible during that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call it like a bulk phase anymore because I don't like that term because I think bulking, uh, purposely bulking could just mean you're getting fat, but being in a little bit of a surplus and then pushing a more weight, that is the time to pack on the muscle. So then when you do decide to go on a cutting phase or a losing weight phase, whatever whatever you want to call it, you can try to um, do it gradually, cut down on the calories, and then try to sustain a lot of muscle while losing body fat. This is the process that occurs, and when that occurs, ultimately the end result is a nicer, lean physique. And that is the main reason why people do cuts. If for people uh, people out there that don't understand what's going on or what I'm saying in the most basic terms, when you're cutting, you're trying to look a little bit trimmer. You um, appear to you'll actually look better. But in terms of strength, you're going to lose strength. But that's something that you shouldn't be concerned about if you're cutting. When you're cutting, you're concerned about getting looking a little bit more dry. You want to uh, use the eye test, the mirror. And that's what's the purpose. That's why like even bodybuilders that are on steroids and or if you're doing um, a photo shoot or something, even though you may look aesthetically the most pleasing, you're probably going to be close to your weakest. So it's very, very strange. You may look more muscular, but you're actually really... Um, not as strong very very common uh, real quick before I depart um, isolation type exercises like uh, if you're doing a tricep pull down or just anything that's machine assisted you may not lose as much power because as a term machine assisted the machine does a lot of the weight for you but when you're doing compound movements and free weights which I highly recommend you're recruiting more muscle fibers in, like when you're bench pressing, that's why I recommend free weights, you, you don't have the machine to help you and you're recruiting more muscles, muscle fibers. You have, you have to make sure the bar is balanced and it's more taxing on the body. So, And that's the reason why you will see more uh, strength loss in when you do those types of free weights, you know, the squats, the deadlifts, the lunges, the pull-ups, stuff like that. So. 
that's it for this video. Um, don't worry about it. Um, there are small exceptions that for cardiovascular type exercises. Um, depending on how much body fat you have to begin with, you may not have this effect because um, anaerobic versus aerobic aerobic exercise versus anaerobic is slightly different on the body. Um, but um, I don't want to complicate this too much. So if you don't experience this and consider yourself lucky, and or it may mean that your body fat's still high and you still have those reserves. But as you get leaner and more dry and more shredded, expect uh, this to happen. Uh, one last thing that you can do to counter it before I forget that's very important is you could take some uh, green tea, some coffee, kind of like a pre-workout or a pre-workout drink. Uh, you can also um, kind of do some carb cycling. You could I don't depending on your program how many carbohydrates you have during during the during the day excuse me when you cut you can preload those carbohydrates maybe an hour or two before your workout that'll give you that extra boost along with the pre-workout and hopefully you're getting adequate sleep and then you don't you won't suffer too much during uh, the workout but you'll still um, have some strength uh, loss that's just inevitable that's my time. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Comments, questions, always welcome. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.